CBS Sports celebrating Women's History Month throughout March, and today is International Women's Day. History is currently being made from Miami-Dade County Hall to the halls of the White House as the new administration is on track to have a record number of women serving in the cabinet or in cabinet-level posts. CBS 4's anchor Laura Pastrana has the story all new this morning. And Kamala Davy Harris, I solemnly swear. Two months before Kamala Harris took the oath of office as the first female vice president of the United States, I do solemnly swear or affirm. Daniela Levine Cava was sworn in as the first woman to serve as mayor of Miami Dade County. I am ready. I am ready to confront this crisis and to lead our community through this difficult chapter. Right around the same time last November, Miami Dade College named Madeline Pumariega as the college's fifth president. Well, almost, Madam President, welcome back. <laughs> the first female to hold the title in the school's 60 year history. I think 2021, without a doubt, at least in Miami Dade County, uh, seems to be the year of the woman. Um, and um, certainly an exciting time for breaking and shattering those glass ceilings. Beware of the falling glass in the sports world. More firsts for women. Kim Ang became the first female general manager in Major League Baseball when she took the helm of the Miami Marlins organization. Having this high profile position, um, you know, where, where you're out in public more and, you know, girls can see it. I mean, there's an adage, you know, you can't be it if you can't see it. But I guess I would suggest to them now, now you can see it. And last month, Sarah Thomas made Super Bowl history as the first woman to referee the big game. To be a part of such a, a strong fraternity, and they let a little sister in, and I know there's going to be some more women following me. Just being around all of them and having that experience with the Super Bowl and ranking out number one at your position, it's amazing. Meanwhile, a record number of women are expected to serve in President Biden's cabinet. Janet Yellen has already been confirmed as the country's first female Treasury Secretary. And Jennifer Granholm now heads the U.S. Energy Department. Avril Haines is the new Director of National Intelligence. And Linda Thomas Greenfield is the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. A handful of other women are awaiting confirmation to cabinet or cabinet level posts. But despite all that progress, the pandemic has especially impacted working women. Women held a majority of service jobs lost in the pandemic, and due to the demands of remote learning, four times as many women left the workforce this fall as men, with some three million women leaving their jobs in the last year. Women are dropping out of the workforce. Is this a national emergency? It is a national emergency. It generally is a national emergency. The theme of International Women's Day this year is choose to challenge because from challenge comes change. People are encouraged to post photos with their hands up to show their commitment to challenging inequality, calling out bias, questioning stereotypes and promoting inclusivity. Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News.